Right, we're at the making the frame stage and as you can see mine is a little wobbly but again it will all sort out when we attach and when we block our pieces. Um, I've put it this way up, you can see the um, the working yarn and the, and the loop is down here at the bottom but I've put it this way up because I want to show you the orientation of the flower on the frame. Um, it goes this way on so it goes up to the top right like that and the reason I wanted to show you the orientation like that is our marked stitch down here is the first place we're going to join. Okay, so whilst the flower is that way up, you know, it's the right way up, we're actually going to be working like so to uh, join to join this way on. OK, now another thing I want to tell you is that you are joining me here on round three of the frame. Um, I have or we have, sorry, we've made much more detailed information about how to not twist the um, starting chain and ch changing hook sizes and all that kind of good stuff. We've done that already on the Merton Abbey set of videos and I've put a link in the um, information below this video. Um, so if you're not you know too sure about making frames at this point go and have a little watch of that one because it is generic it will cover making frames um regardless of motif really you just need to look at the uh, stitch counts but like i said it's got stuff in there about how not to twist the chain um, looking at the sizing of the frame and that kind of thing now with sizing in mind i just want to tell you that our, although the pattern says four millimeter hook i'm working three and a half millimeter hook here because my frames always come up too big okay so you're going to see a different color um uh hook handle and um, that's because that is what suits my crochet please uh, work at what suits your crochet um, and the uh, and the hook size um, accordingly okay so let's make a start on round three and get our sunflower joined to the frame okay here we go then so on this round we are joining in the flower so I've got my flower resting here ready. I'm going to start with one chain and of course your um, instructions are written out really clearly so I'm more keen again just to show you the process of joining rather than really hammer home the stitch counts etc because you will you will have those okay okay so um, we're going to just do one double crochet into the next stitch and now we're going straight into joining the 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 leaf onto the frame and all I'm going to do I've got my marked stitch all I'm going to do is put my hook all the way through that marked stitch and put it through the next stitch on the frame just be careful not to double work one stitch or to miss a stitch those are the two things to look out for and I would also say to you that on this pattern on the joining uh, there are some back loop only places as well so just pay careful attention to those pieces and um you know that that should be all okay so our first leaf is already joined and we're off okay so we're going to go for 11 stitches now just make sure again that i'm not missing any or not double working any two three four nine 10 and 11 and you will see that that has brought me up to my marked corner stitch okay and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the top stitch or the center stitch on at the top of this leaf and the center marked stitch on my frame take that stitch marker out at the same time and that is the second leaf joined very exciting isn't it putting it all together like this okay so we're coming around the corner and we're starting this next side with six double crochet no increase just going straight along with six double crochet six and where we are now we're going to be joining this slightly shorter leaf and we're going to join with three stitches but to start with we're just going to do what we've done already which is put one stitch all the way through um, the center um, of the three stitches at the tip of that flower so it will be in here okay 
I'm going all the way through. And now we're going to look at some back loop only stitches. So for the, we're going to work the next two stitches on the leaf back loop, loop only um, and move along sort of one stitch at a time on the frame. So working along the frame, but working back loop only on that leaf. So going in the back loop only of the green leaf, but the full stitch of the frame. And again, I'll keep saying this, make sure you're not double working a stitch or missing a stitch. Those are the things that will catch you out, okay? Right, so we are now going to do um, another three double crochet. And we are going straight into um, the pico, we're going to join a petal now rather than a leaf. We're going into the pico, the center pico uh, of that petal. It sort of falls naturally there. All right, it's the center pico. So we're going to go th straight through the center of that pico and straight into the next stitch. So everything gets nice and securely attached. Okay, so yet again, another three. Okay, and we're now going to go into the top of that little sort of stubby uh, treble four together that we made. So make that little bud, that green bud. So we're going into the top of that and through the next stitch on the frame. So things are getting nicely attached, nice and securely attached. And again, another three coming out the other side. and into the top of the next pico. Okay, so we're still working along sort of our first full side, if you like. Um, we'll get to the corner and what I think we'll do is since you can, you've now sort of seen how to join every kind of leaf and pico, I will move all the way around until I get to the stems, but just let's get to this last corner seven double crochet by the way six and seven and again into the top of that next leaf right so let's stop there as I said you have now we've worked one full side and we have seen how to Join leaves at the tips here and here. We have seen how to join leaves at the tips and then with back loops only. We've gone into the top of pico stitches and we've gone into the top of the treble four together. So you've joined every kind of stitch on that first side. So I'm not gonna show you how to do the next ones. I'm just gonna pick it up again when we get to this stem at the corner, just to show you how to work that corner because the rest, um, is kind of a repetition of what we've done already. So I'll finish up and I'll get to that stem and then I'll pick up with you again. Right, just directly contradicting myself, helpfully. Um, I've just finished um, joining the second pico on the on the second full side. And I realized we kind of, because we're kind of um, mirroring the uh, pattern, I just wanna show you how to um, do this back loop only for the second time in this little leaf here. So what we're going to need to do is count some stitches so we know where to start the back loops only now on the pattern it says to skip four stitches on the leaf and all that means is i'm going to go right down to the base where, where i can see my first uh treble coming up here skip skip one two three and four okay and the back loop only where i'm going to work the first one is here and you you will see that that is correct because it's basically i need two back loop only stitches before I get to the um, center stitch at the tip of the leaf. And that is what I've got. So if I uh, miss the four stitches, the first back loop only is that one. The second back loop only is this one, which means my the tip, um, the uh, stitch at the center of the tip of the leaf is next. And that's where I go all the way through and into the frame. So it's just reversing that back loop only pattern from before where we went from the tip down. We're now going from the side to the tip and I just wanted to show you how to make sure you count that correctly. Okay. 
right okay I'm on the last corner now and this is where my stem needs to be attached so let's have a look at how we do that um with my stitch count I'm um, correct I'm I've just finished one stitch before the marked corner stitch and that's absolutely correct um that's exactly where you need to be and the first place we're going to join is into that last stitch of that round uh, sorry of that side so that one stitch before the marked stitch and we're going to go into I've annoyingly got a little end there but we'll ignore that we're going to go into the very last double crochet on the stem so if I hold this up to you you will see that is under there that's the very last double crochet on the stem and that's going to be where we put our hook that's going to be it's going to go through there and it's going to go into the last stitch of the frame on this side and that is going to be our joining point there okay so i'm going to turn slightly because we're now at the the marked corner stitch i'll take that marker out because we don't need that now and for this one i'm going to go into the side of that double crochet so sort of through the the leg of it through the v of it all right so just into the side of the same double crochet that we've just joined and through the marked corner stitch and then if I do another dramatic turn we're on the last uh, half side um, of the frame and this time my hook is going to go into the last of those little um, leftover chain parts of that side of the stem so you're basically joining into both ends if you like or both sides of the end and the middle as well so it means that your if I take that out your stem is joined absolutely diagonally okay so the center point is is joined into the sort of side of a double crochet and either side of it is into either side of um, the stem so it works brilliantly and keeps it nice and diagonally accurate so I am now on the very last piece of um of the frame of the joining round of the frame so all i'm going to do is finish up with um is it 14 or 15 14 double crochet and then join okay so I'll slip stitch into the first double crochet to join and if i turn this around you will see my sunflower is completely joined into the frame and it's sitting there nice and snug just as it needs to be right you're going to finish your sunflower motif with one more round uh, on the frame I won't show you that it's double crochet all the way around apart from you've got a, a little bit of half treble and treble at the corners so it's really easy to do that once you've done the tricky part of joining so once you've added that final round in this is what your sunflower will look like now this one has been blocked so it's nice and flat if yours is still a little bit curled don't worry blocking will take care of it but um, hopefully you've enjoyed that and hopefully you you are busy making um, lots more sunflower motifs.